Hi guys, I am Suprabha. In this video, we will study the examples asked in GATE in el for electrical engineering in the year 2017. Starting with the first example, the figure shows diagrammatic representation of vector fields x, y and z. Which of the following choices is true? These are the following four choices. Guys, just adjust with my diagram. These are somewhat representations. So, the first figure. If you see the first, we know that divergence gives outward flow and curl gives rotation of sphere. If you see at the first figure, all the arrows are shown in the outward direction. So, we can say that diversion in this case is not equal to 0. If you see second and third option, the divergence is not equal to 0. So, these two options are valid options. Moving on to the next one, divergence here is equal to 0 because the arrow is indicated inside. It is not the in the outward direction. But curl is not equal to 0 because this shows the rotation of the fluid of or sphere. So, the option B is not valid now, option C is valid. You don't have to go for the last figure. Based on the two figures, you can say that option C is the correct one. Still, we will understand the last figure also. The arrows are shown in the outward direction. So, divergence is not equal to 0 and also it shows the rotation. So, curl is also not equal to 0. So, the option C is correct. Next example, consider line integral i is equal to integration x square plus i y square dz where z is equal to i plus x plus i y. Line C is shown in the figure given below. This is the figure you have to find out the value of i. The given four options are shown on the board. Now, if you see this lines, line i, sorry, line c, we can say that x and y are linearly proportional. So, we can write x is equal to y. So, dx will be equal to dy. It is given in the question integration x square plus i y square dz. Value of dz given is x square plus i y square x plus i y. Now substitute the values of x. Integration c x square plus i y square. The value of z is x plus i y. So dz will be dx plus i dy. Substitute here we get x square plus y is equal to x, so we can write i x square dx plus i dy is equal to dx. Now taking x square common, we get 1 plus i, and here taking dx common, we get 1 plus i. Taking 1 plus i outside, we get x integration x square dx. 1 plus i whole square integration will be. Here we need to substitute the limit 0 to 0 to 1. x cube by 3, 0 to 1. Expand this a plus b whole square. We get 1 plus 2i plus i square. Substitute the limits here. We get 1 by 3. i square we know it is minus 1. So, this will get cancelled. We get 2 by 3i. Compare with the options. The option b is correct.
Hope you understood the concept. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Hope the concept is clear. For any doubts and suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. For more details, you can refer these videos. Guys, help us to help you. So please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.